time together. Chaplain John, hey, it's so yes. good to have you here. Thank you so much for being here. Good to be here. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, yeah. Amen. So they let you out. They well, I you know I can wear this in the jail, but if I did, I could get in, but I might not get out. Right, so, but I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great to be here. And, and it's 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 good to know that your parole officer might be yeah. here tomorrow morning too. So. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> And always check in, you know, and, and uh, we'll make sure you're doing okay. No, I'm doing good. 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 I won't ask you what you're in for. You don't. You don't ask. Uh, that's true. Don't ask or tell. No, that's so, right. That's right. So, but, any, but anyway, you're here. For, you're here for a special a special reason because even by your title, chaplain, yes. that means that you are doing a very special thing uh, at Bob Wiley Detention Facility. Is that is that correct? Well, actually, I'm at Bob Wiley in pretrial. There's two jails right next to each other. That's well, how convenient. Right thing. Yeah, that's right. Yes. yes, and I'm in there in the day. We're just sharing the gospel of Jesus. Excellent, excellent. How long have you guys been at that? Well, I have been, we came to October 2005, so we've been here going on our seventh year now. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yes. yes. Thank you. Do you recognize any people in our... Oh, I won't ask you that. No. Well, actually, especially at this service, we do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, we, we really want to encourage uh, our inmates when they get out to find a church home to belong to. Yes. And I, I came here... This is neat. You guys meet Saturday. Yes. You've been doing this for nine years. That's right. Oh, you're That's interviewing right. me, not me. You. That's fine. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> this is so cool. And um, actually, there are a couple people that came up to me, and we actually put them... I have my own special show. Did you know that, Pastor? I didn't know that. And did you know you're on it right now? Hey, yeah. what do you know? Yeah, this is, we are on Chaplain Chat. And so, in fact, uh, my camera person, wave camera person, there she is again. And so well, we're putting this on YouTube, and, uh, but, but it's good to be here. But there's another reason why I'm here. You're, can I tell you why I'm here? Absolutely. All right. Hey, back at our table, on April 28th, we have a fundraising event. We all want you to come. Be a part of Team NAS, all right? In fact, you'll get a button if you're a part of it. We have a walk event on April 28th, and uh, this is one of our fundraising events to keep jail ministry in Tulare County Jail. Right, right. We, we have an awesome ministry. Lives are being changed in Tulare County. And one of our fundraising events is we meet at Central Valley Christian School April 28th, 11 to uh, 1 o'clock. We've got a barbecue, bounce house for the kitties. And, uh, oh, it's going to be a great day. We walk around a park we, uh, track. We have a Christian group that's going to be playing music for us the whole that's time. That's a Saturday. It's a Saturday. Saturday and it's going to be an awesome time. And towards the end of the day, we're going to get everybody together. We're going to get some former inmates to give their testimony. And it's, guys, it's just going to be great. Uh, at 10, 15, if, do you ride a bike? A I do. Cycle? I, I ride a bicycle, a regular bicycle. Well, you can bring that anyway, too. Okay. But we're going to have a bike blessing, and then our <laughs> walk event starts at 11 o'clock. And so we want to go back and see the table. And Ellen's back there. She's my camera person, and there she's waving to you guys. Go back and see her because we it's going to be a great event, and it's an awesome time. Fantastic. So that would be two weeks from today. That's right. Two yeah. weeks from today. All right. Thank you so much, Brother John. Can I share Definitely. one last thing? Please do. No, this is good. And this is our, we have a theme in our jail. I'm not going to read all this. Don't freak out. Okay. <laughs> but we have a theme in our jail this year. You can pick one of these up back at the table. The theme in our jail for jail ministry is three, through God, people change. In fact, can you guys say that? Through, through God, God, people change. Say one more time. Through, through God, God, people change. change. We have a theme verse that we're sharing with the inmates. I really like it. Repeat this verse after me. Matthew 19, 25, 26. Matthew 19, 25, 26. And when the disciples heard this, and when the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished. They were greatly astonished. And they asked him, and they asked him, who then can be saved? Who then can be saved? And Jesus looked at them. And Jesus looked at them. And he said, and he said, with man, with man, it is impossible. It is impossible. With God. With God. All things are all, All things, things are, are possible. possible. Pastor Dave, I got a little newsletter that pe if people want to pick up, they can, because inmates in our jail right now today are being changed by the power of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Yes. And uh, they're writing to me. They're sharing with me how God is changing them. And I just want to read one testimony a person wrote. He said, "My," and he's in our jail today. He wrote this. He said, my testimony of how God has changed me. I've been incarcerated for a year now, 
and have been back and forth from prison to Bob Wiley. At first, I did not understand why God was doing this. But I, under, but I understand now, God is going to do a wonderful thing for me when I get out. He has changed me. He's given me peace in my heart and soul. I look at life in a whole different way than I used to. And remember, he wrote this in jail. He says, I see the meaning of freedom is not just being out there in the world, but in my heart and soul. God has set me free. There is no greater freedom than the freedom of God has given me. Isn't that awesome? Amen. I mean, that's awesome. And they are giving me poems and statements. They're giving me artwork. And I don't know if this can be seen on the camera, but pick one of these up. An inmate did this artwork. And through God, we are being changed. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain John. God bless you in your ministry. Amen. Amen.